Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over our semi-final games of the August monthly finals versus O.0, .O, which is a very strong underrated team uh, that have been for performing very well, upsetting some of the best teams in North America. So let's waste no time. Let's get into the games. All right, guys, hopping into the first game here in the first set on Canal Grande. So it might look a little bit weird because we are actually the red team. So we're playing on the top side of the map. That's because we were watching back onto the stream because we don't have the games in our battle log anymore. But either way, the bands are going to be Stu, Gene, and Buzz. Uh, and the reasons being because, well, Stu, we really don't like playing against Stu. And uh, Buzz, I mean, Fade is absolutely insane as, as Buzz. So we wanted to ban that out. Um, but either way, we can see that we have a very good solid lead at the start of this game. 5-0. to zero. We got control of mid basically uh, basically instantly. And we get another kill onto the Sandy. And they're going to have a real hard time coming back in this game already. Just because this map is so control based. And you can see that our team has very good control as well. We do block off Luffy there. This should be a kill. And we do get that kill as well as our teammates on the other side are just locking it down. Basically uh, getting two kills over there. Not quite. But either way, we're looking very, very good. And the reason why I think is because, well, we destroyed Sandy's walls almost instantly. And as long as we don't let Sandy get in the mid, Sandy is going to be basically useless this game. And you can see so far, we're just totally dominating, not allowing them to come up the map whatsoever. And you can see as soon as Sandy he starts to come over Zuan gives us a little bit of help takes out sandy and we're looking really good here and you guys also uh if this is one of the first times you might be seeing griff in competitive griff is actually really really good inside of competitive i think uh we tested um griff out a lot and i i personally enjoy uh griff quite a bit i think it's a very good tank counter as well but either way at this point 21 to 0 there is no way they come back in this game we Totally uh, out comp them as well as we had a very, very good start in this game. And there's really nothing they could have done uh, after like the first couple of seconds. I think this comp is too uh, good at controlling the mid. So we're going to win this game pretty handily. And I don't actually think any of us go down. And we're going to win 29 to 0, I believe. So very solid first game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, game two here. And we're going to switch it up quite a bit. So there's a couple switches that we made. We uh, switched Tick for Sprout. And the reason being is because, well, if they ended up going Tick, uh, Sprout loses versus Tick, in my opinion. So I think just Tick versus Tick would have been better, but they didn't end up going Tick. They went with the Primo Byron comp, which is actually really hard to deal with. You'll notice that basically Byron is just going to heal the Primo a ton. We're going to be slowly picking away at the Primo's HP, but that means Primo is going to be charging super. And that's what's really going to cause us a lot of problems. Now, we already lost control of mid. It's really hard to gain control of mid over a Primo. And you can see Zuan is going to go on the other side because I don't think we can actually just fully stack one side. Primo is just going to get jump eventually and basically kill us all. But you can see how much damage Griff does uh, with the super. The super is insane. Now, Zuan is going to almost die. Tyrant goes down, but we do trade a kill onto the Primo. So we're not out of this game. It's not looking great. I almost get a kill onto the Byron, but I do have to be a little... Oh, I actually get a kill onto the Byron as well as Zuan gets a kill onto the Bell. So this is a very good uh, couple kills here to help us regain control of this game. And uh, I mean, at this point, we again are struggling to deal enough damage to the Primo. You can see how much... Uh, the Byron Primo combo is very strong on this map. We consider running it as well. Uh, and just because there's not much counterplay to it. I mean, we could have obviously went a couple things that are better. Now, Fate's going to jump in onto Zuan. He's going to get the kill, but we do trade the kill with the help of that crazy Griff super across the map. And uh, 11 to 8, again, we're looking good, but again, we do not like to be in this scenario. Uh, if me or T uh, Tyrant die, we are losing this game, so we do have to be careful. But we don't want to back up just because we know eventually Primo is going to come in and there's really nothing we can do. You can see Primo's making his move. He's very close to Super. Zuan gets a Super onto the Primo, but Primo's jumping in. We try our best to help out Tyrant. Tyrant is going to go down. Primo jumps out as well as Zuan goes down. Pretty chaotic ending, but they're going to win that with pretty good execution from the Primo and the Byron uh, to get in and get out. So again, well played by them. Now we move on to game three. All right, game three here, and we stuck with the same comp and as well as they did uh, uh, also. So I think that we we thought we could definitely uh, play that a little bit better. We could cycle our Griff Supers a little bit more or we could take care of the Primo a little bit more and we could win this game. But either way, we're going to be placed on the other side versus Luffy. Now, we want to try to hold this side down, try to win this side. Uh, and Zuan and Tyrant do a great job of taking out Fade there. So we get an early kill and an early lead, which is very important inside this game, as well as we're actually in their grass. Now, we do get pinched pretty good. I popped a gadget. Don't know why. I thought I was dead anyway. Uh, so I almost went down. 
I got a little bit lucky there that I didn't go down. But either way, we're again trying to get back control of this left lane. Our job this game is just to get control of the mid as much as possible. Now, Fate is going to get a double jump in. And I think we're going to trade there. So again, it's uh, not bad. But again, they are winning with the blue star. And uh, we do have control of the right lane. Trying to regain control of the left. Tyrant with a beautiful super onto Luffy gets that kill. That will regain our control. We both get hit by a trap. Zuan will almost go down because of that. And he gets put in a really hard spot. He does get out so nice dodges by zuan and you can see again primo causing so much pressure with super there's no way we really stop him from jumping in uh the only thing we can do is try to kill him when he does jump in or maybe kill the byron you see primo jumping in we're using everything we possibly can he actually throws my ticket which is huge and uh it forces byron to use super here i believe byron almost does go down so we are still winning by three stars right now so it's very close game and uh, anything can happen at this point because again primo has super uh which is very very scary now very nice super from zuan as well as a very nice super from tyrant pushes them really low and we take out fade zuan goes down but i also take out luffy and uh, we kind of stopped them before they jumped in which was very important we killed them before they made the play otherwise i think we will actually lose now tyron's gonna go extremely low but even if he goes down there we still win that game so we're gonna win 20 to 10 and we're gonna win the first set moving on to the next one all right guys hopping into game two now we missed a little bit of the start of the action there's nothing really i can do about that but either way we're gonna be running rico griff and uh bell and they're gonna be running poco primo mortis and uh luckily we have a lot of stuff to deal with these tanks but even then, you can see eventually here how annoying the Mortis and Primo are going to be once they get their supers. And as well as Poco, if Poco gets super, uh, it's going to be really tough. Now, Tyrant unfortunately goes down, but you can see the cycles of the Griff super. And Griff was so important in this match. Uh, otherwise, I think we just lose. There's no way that me and Tyrant do enough damage. Uh, Griff is very good at dealing with the, the Primo and the Mortis. So either way, we are winning this game by 30%. But again, this game is far from over. Uh, we have Poco marked and you can see Mortis threatening from the side here. And we do kind of go down here. There's nothing really we can do. We try our best. We did mark the Mortis, but you can see how much uh, pressure they really create with Mortis and Primo. And uh, this is why this comp is so scary to run against. If we ended up going something more traditional, I think we would just lose uh, because we don't have enough damage to deal with it. But again, uh, we can definitely win this game if we play it perfectly and we play it right uh, either way we get the mortis kill so now we are again trying to group up getting a kill onto the primo unfortunately tyrant goes down nice super from zulon bringing the poco really low we finish off the poco but again we're losing this game and there's they're just coming back and back with supers so we have to be uh very on point here you can see mortis coming in we do deal with the mortis pretty quickly uh but primo is just you know tanking as much as possible with the poco heals and we have to hit more shots our whole team has to hit a ton, a ton of shots we were missing probably a little bit too much and uh, we're trying our best but you can see that just the mortis is back in the action now mortis gets a kill they're gonna win that game and again it's just constant pressure from the primo and mortis and we didn't quite execute it perfectly so they're gonna win that game all right game two on ring of fire now we decided to run it back because we thought we could deal with their comp better again griff is so op versus their comp as well as we didn't play it quite perfectly. We know we could have killed them better uh, if we focus one at a time. And here you go. We can see we have a great start. Uh, we do get them extremely low. We keep Poco low, which is very important. And we're tagging everybody that's coming in. And we're getting them all super low. You can see Luffy is flanking though. So this is a little bit worrisome. Zuan goes over to deal with Luffy. Almost goes down. Luckily, we help out a little bit. And Zuan stays alive. And again, Primo's coming in. Nothing really we can do. Tyrant does stay alive, which is super important. If one of us goes down, it makes the game a lot harder because we need everybody's damage to deal with, you know, Mortis or Primo. And again, we are locking down. You can see we're so grouped in the middle. It's because if we don't group together, there is no way that we take out a Primo or a Mortis by ourselves. And uh, we're just going to end up losing the game if we don't play as a group. And uh, right now we're looking pretty good. I mean, we are winning by 50% at this point and a huge kill onto the Mortis before he gets healed by Poco. That could have been that could have went really, really bad for us. But again, Primo jumps in. We do get that kill looking a lot better and again mortis is trying desperately to get sort of you know some control at this point they we only need five more percent so we're just gonna get you know we're gonna play it slow we get a couple kills and this is where we're gonna win this game there's no way they come back we played this one much better than the first time around took us one game to you know kind of understand it but either way let's hop into the third one all right guys hopping into game three we're gonna stick it out at the same comp but you can see this time around we split up because we know that they're not running uh primo mortis 
And there's no reason for us to group like we did last time. So we're going to get shot by Toast in the mid here. And it's very scary when B has 3k. So I have to be a little bit careful. And I do have to hit more shots. So far, I've only hit one shot as well as he's only hit one shot. But he has control of the mid, which is unfortunate for us at least. We should be playing a little bit more aggressive. But here it gets really difficult for us. We don't really have much room to, uh, to, to move because Amber Fire is coming over. Now we're missing way too many shots at this point in the game. And this game uh, would go a lot easier if we are hitting the shots. And we're down 30% already. So it's not looking good. And we're still put in a really, really bad spot right now. Uh, especially with the amber, you know, fire there. But finally, the amber fire goes away. We're down basically 50%. We get the kill on the amber. Tyrant gets a kill on Luffy. And this is where we start to make our comeback in this game. Because, well, we finally get some control. Now, unfortunately, Tyrant goes down by a nice play from uh, Toast. Nice super from Zuan. Cycling the supers gets a double kill, which is absolutely huge. And uh, we are now able to start placing our mines, which is very important uh, as a bell player in the mid. The mines are basically free kills if they activate them. So again, you want to be placing those as far up as possible. That way they can't really walk into the zone. And that way you can get a free kill. Now here, put in a really weird spot between the Amber Super and the Rico Super. I barely live. Able to regen. Zuan is cycling the mid, so he's gaining time while I'm healing up. Now we're just going to switch out. Now I'm going to go uh, and kind of, you know, try to get some time. Again, I get hit. Zuan gets 3k so toast is hitting some nice shots we also bring toast extremely low the bounce is going to take out toast which is super important this game is actually extremely close we get a kill onto amber now luffy is going to just oh my god just survive with zero hp i missed two shots there so unfortunate luffy with the nice jukes and uh stays alive and that is huge for his team if he goes down there this game is a lot different now i do get 3k and then taken out by fade as well as fade is very very low nice kill from zuan and uh, they are gaining more and more time here so this is getting a little bit close here they only need 20 something more percent so we have to play aggressive here we do hit some nice shots onto toast taking them out but we do get lit on fire here and we are trying our best we kill amber and we need to control the mid here where there's no time uh left to really kind of mess up if we go down any more mess ups from our team, we kind of just lose. We do mark fade, which is huge. And we are starting to hit them as soon as they walk in. We're gaining more and more time. They have to make a play here soon. And uh, I think they will end up doing that. Uh, again, this is a very close game. Still 5%. Everybody has time. They're making their last push towards mid. Uh, Luffy goes down. I mean, everybody's so low. Zuan goes down. I hit two shots. Get the kill. And we win by... 5%. This game was crazy chaotic. We were down 50% at the start of this game. We made a huge comeback. Uh, and honestly, we just missed too many shots at the start. We made our comeback and we do get the second set win. So we move on to the third set. All right, guys, hopping into the third set here on Triple Dribble. Now you can see right off the bat, we get a lot of value. We take out Toast in the mid almost instantly, as well as we almost get Luffy down instantly, which is very, very important. Zuan gets a beautiful super onto Fade. And this is when we're going to look to score again. The Sandy uh, the sandy Gadget from Toast was crucial there to save the goal at the start. But again, we had full control. We get that first goal almost instantly. So we played that extremely well. And uh, again, we're looking to get, you know, uh, this kill right on the left side real quick. We do take out Luffy instantly and we are pushed up and we're going to try to take out Toast. But again, Fade's jumping in. We got to make sure we take out Fade in the back. Tyrant is going to jump, get the kill onto Sandy and we waste no time and we get this win right off the bat. So we're going to go up one to zero in the third set. We just need one more to win it. All right, guys, hopping into game two. Now we're sticking with the same comp, Rico, Primo and B. Very, very strong comp. And you can see that they actually mirrored our comp as well. And so we are on this left side here versus Toast. We hit a nice 3K. We actually take out Toast, which is a huge kill. Zuan gives us the ball. We call it out. We say we can score here. And there is this nice little angle because that wall was broken. We get that first goal again. Very quick start. Uh, but you can see they respond pretty quickly. You'll see anyway, at least very soon. Fade grabs the ball, wastes no time, breaks the mid wall and scores. Almost no counterplay to that, to be honest, but very nice goal from Fade. And they get that goal and they tie this up. You can see how fast this Brawl Ball set is moving. And uh, again, we have everything opened up. So this is like B's dream on this map. We do get a kill onto the B. Nice shots from Zuan to get that kill. And Tyron is wasting no time pushing up as well. We hit a nice 3K onto the Primo. Everybody's low. Tyron's going in. Tyron is wasting no time. 
and we are trying our best to hit some shots here now primo's gonna try uh to push up the map we want to pinch here but again i was so worried about the 3k i mistimed my gadget and i still get hit by the 3k so i do have to heal and i'm trying to help zuan as much as possible but zuan is you know locking it down on this left side now tyron is pushed up wasting no time again we do have to be careful now this gets pretty close uh because actually my joystick stops moving right there and if i die that's a goal and we actually lose that game so that would have been heartbreaking but either way we lock it down and we're again back up the middle of the map and uh, again me and zuan it's basically up to me and zuan to get control of this map because tyrant can't really do anything other than take damage and charge super so we get some beautiful kills instantly here and uh, as soon as the pass goes to zuan that's an easy goal once primo's in the air so we get that goal and we're gonna win three to zero versus odato all right, guys, so we do win 3-0 versus Odato. It was a very, very good match. And again, GG's to Odato, but we do move on to the finals versus SCMN. So if you guys want to see that on the channel, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you there. Peace.